are you? I'm going to go hop on Instagram here and go live. Give me a moment. So glad that you could join us. We're back here. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. How are you? I'm so glad you could join us today. I'm going to give you some moments to go ahead and sign on. I want to say hi to all my returning Tuesday Transformers. And those of you who are new Tuesday Transformers who are coming in for the first time to join us, you know, I've been gone a little bit because, well, you know, I practice what I preach. I needed those days to just kind of get kids in order as they go back to school. Hi, Queen Zinni, so good to see you. Hi, Continuity Health, so glad you could join us as well, too. And just some housekeeping, of course, we're back on our Tuesday Transformers. I'm going to try back to be here every single month, but I did need those two months to take a breather, to get kids situated. We're in Florida, and you know Florida kind of plays by its own rules. I want to say hi to Lady D455, who personally came to the office and said, what is going on to, with the Tuesday Transformers? So we wanted to be here. And then, of course, Facebook. I'm glad you're here, too. So we're going to get right into it. Hi, Monica underscore Rose. So glad you could join us. We're going to get right into it today. Some housekeeping, as you know. When I'm looking here, it's because I'm talking to my Facebook friends. And then, of course, when I'm looking up, it's because I'm talking to my Instagram friends. And all of you are Tuesday Transformers. So glad you could come on where we could talk real quick and learn something new. And today, we're going to be talking about hurricane preparedness. Did did you see that post earlier? We are at the halfway mark. It's half time for hurricane preparedness. Hi, uh, Eveline Unbreakable Norloose holding it down for our Facebook friends. So we're going to talk about the halfway mark of what you need in your hurricane preparedness kit. And I want to do more than just talk about all the water and the sandbags and all that other stuff. I'm a physician, so what do I want to do? I want to focus in truly on your first aid kit and what things you should have in there. Just beyond, of course, just the gauze and band-aids. We're going to do that really quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Invite a friend. In way of introductions, I am Dr. Sabi Nelize. I'm a board-certified family medicine physician. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cornerstone Medical Group here in Coral Springs, Florida. And I'll tell you, as a physician, as a pastor's kid, as a wife and mom, I've come to realize to be healthy and well, well, you have to address more than your physical health. That's why I help men and women reconnect their physical, spiritual, and cognitive health to bring satisfying wholeness to their lives daily. I do it right here through my direct primary care office and also through my through my best-selling book on Amazon, The Healthy Whole Rx. So go ahead and grab that if you need to as well, too. So let's get into it. What do you need to have in your hurricane preparedness bag? But more importantly, what do you need? What do you need in your first aid kit? And we're going to talk about my five top go-to. So grab your pen, pencil, or jot it down, or just save this and go ahead and share, of course. So number one, beyond, of course, right? We know we need band-aids. We know we need gauze. We need all those different things. So here's my top five. Number one, you have to have your prescription medications. You want to put those in your first aid kit for your hurricane preparedness guide. I want to remind you that hurricane season actually ends November 30th. So we're in September. We still have some ways to go. And you could see it's doing everything that it wants to do over there in the, in the ocean in terms of what's going on. I have someone calling me here, so I have to stop that. So number one, you want to have your prescription medications. I recommend, and it is recommended for three days, but I want you to go ahead and stretch that out to five days. Now, all of your medications are important, but some of the ones that come to mind particularly are your blood pressure medications. And also, those of you who are on thyroid medications, you don't want to run out of your thyroid medications. And you'll know if you suffer from any thyroid, issues, you know that if you have a day or two without them, you're going to feel it. And more importantly, the people around you will feel it. They'll see that change in your mood. So you want to make sure that you have enough of your prescription medications. And we want to go between three to five days enough, three to five days enough to go ahead and have that prescription medication. That's number one. The second thing I want you to have is your non-prescription medications in that first aid kit of your hurricane preparedness guide. Okay, those non-prescription medications. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the pain relievers. I'm talking about the headache medications. I'm talking about the antacids. And particularly, I'm speaking about the anti-diarrhea medications. Now, you know and I know for some reason, 
when there's a hurricane, when there's a pandemic, the first thing to go is what? That's right, you guessed it, the toilet tissue. The toilet tissue goes, so we wanna make sure that we're not having the runs. So we may need to go ahead and throw some anti-diarrhea medications or those non-prescription medications. Do you remember how many days I said you want enough supply for? That's three to five days, three to five days. At minimum three, go ahead and push it to five because I always want to be um, make sure that we're being prepared. So we talked about prescriptions. We talked about our non-prescription medications. What's our number three? Our number three medication that we want to, or the number third thing that we want to make sure that we have in that kit. This actually makes me, excuse me, think of my high school years. I remember when I was a senior year of my high school, all over the classrooms, they had one thing that they kept on saying. Uh, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. That's one to write down. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And you're not preparing to fail because you're on this call right now. So the third thing that's really important to make sure that you have in your first aid kit when it comes to your hurricane preparedness kit, the third thing is I want you to have a list for those of individuals who are on hemodialysis or those individuals who are dependent on certain medical supplies, um, oxygen with, with uh, coronavirus, those individuals who have survived, a lot of them have suffered from now having pulmonary complications, so they need nebulizers. I want you to make sure those of you who are dependent on any one of those medical supplies, you have an alternative way of getting it whether it's a battery operated thing. Um, for those of you who are on dialysis is the one that I brought on. You should have already a list of other places that you can go to just in case that center is closed. If you're someone who usually gets regular IV hydration or IV treatment for whatever it may be, you want to prepare that list right now. You don't wanna go through the headache and hassle of trying to figure out that, that out two days before um, that hurricane is approaching. You have enough to do. And that's why, what are we doing here, my Tuesday transforming to Transformers? We are preparing in advance because failure to prepare is preparing to fail. So those are our three. And then of course, what's our number four? Our number four thing that I want you to think about is just a bottle of hydrogen pyroxide. Now I know that you're gonna have that alcohol in there, but for some individuals, they still grab the alcohol to clean a wound. Don't do that, please. It not only is it painful, but that's not your go-to. You're gonna clean it out really well with some hydrogen pyroxide. So go ahead and put some, hydrogen peroxide also inside of your uh, kit, your first aid kit. That's our number four thing. And I'm gonna add two more things for our number five thing. Our number fifth thing that we wanna make sure we have in our hurricane preparedness kit, I want you to have an instant ice pack. Have an instant ice pack in there because we know when hurricanes occur, we don't know which way it's gonna go. People get injured, so we wanna make sure if there is something we need to ice, you can have an instant ice pack there for yourself or your loved ones. And the second thing that I'm gonna to add to that number five is a set of tweezers, a set of tweezers. Why the tweezers? Because remember, it's going back to our hydrogen peroxide. We're not just thinking about band-aids and gauze. Those are for everyone else who isn't on a Tuesday Transformer talk with Dr. Elise. Those of you who are, you are gonna be thinking about tweezers. You're gonna think about hydrogen peroxide because if you actually do get a wound and there's some debris or there's glass or some type of foreign object in there, you don't wanna stick your finger in there. You wanna use a set of tweezers to go ahead and get that out, clean that wound out with the hydrogen peroxide. And if there is an injury that requires ice, because you already have your instant ice pack in there, you know how to get it. So that's what we are doing Tuesday Transformers. We are still at the halfway mark, remember, of hurricane season. Uh, it doesn't end until, again, November 30th. So those are our top five. I want to know and I hope that you have already your hurricane preparedness kit, but specifically, I want to make sure you have your first aid kit. And what were those five? Prescription medications, three to five days. Number two, non-prescription medications, those anti-diarrhea, and even those pain relievers. Make sure they're not expired. So check the date on those because that tends to happen a lot because they've just been sitting there. Our third thing we want to have, we want to have a list. And this is where you do need to possibly contact your doctor. If you are dependent on some sort of medical device or medical supplies, you need hemodialysis, you want to know the alternative centers that you could go to in your area. And you also want to make sure that you have something that can run on battery 
just in case the power goes out. We said our number four was the hydrogen peroxide. And of course, our number five, which I added to, was a set of tweezers, as well as what? The instant ice pack. So I'm so glad you could join us today. I want to say hi again to Gerline. Gerline is our student physician here, and this is brought to you by her. This is what she recommended. She said this is what she feels like people need to know. So I want to say hi to her who's watching right now. Her name is Gigi Ann, 26, so she's going to be a future doctor. So we want to go ahead and give her love, send her prayers and keep her on the course. I want to say hi to nurse underscore Anne. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Lady D455. I'm so glad you could join us again. You might be our number one, I don't know, president for the Tuesday Transformer Talks. And then of course, Monica underscore Rose, Continuity Health, Queen Dinny, Evelyn Unbreakable. So many people saying hi. And remember, I know you have to get to lunch. So this is my top five. I want you to understand what's going on. I want to make sure that you have what you need so that what? You can make uh, great decisions when it comes to your health and that we could transform your health, our health together. So good seeing you all. I will see you again next month and any other information that I drop in between. And of course, like always, share with someone. And if you find this to be beneficial, go ahead and continue to follow us and keep up with those updates. Take care. See you soon. Bye.